Hello and welcome. In this short video, we are going to create camera shake effect. So let's get started. We are going to use Lean Twin. This package, Lean Twin. Uh, this package will provide us very cool functionality, uh, which I am going to show you. Uh, let's jump into our project. I have created simple scene with some sprites and uh, camera, directional light and a canvas uh, with a button name camera shape. Okay, uh, we need to create a script. Let's create a script named camera shake. Camera shake. Let's double click to open it up. So here we have our script. Let's remove this. Uh, actually, we need a start function. So I don't want to remove this. So uh, we need a variable, a vector to variable to shake our camera into x and y direction. Uh, you also use uh, floats for this. I'm using vector two. Uh, I will simply tag it as public or serializable field. Serializable field. Okay. And we want our cameras transform. So I simply write here transform. And uh, we also want our camera's initial position. So vector three. Okay. Let's fill them out. Here main, uh, make sure your camera is tagged as main camera, otherwise uh, it will not work. So here we simply feed our initial position to this initial pose, not pose, initial pose. Okay, so this is our initial position and uh, we simply create a public function because we need to call this function whenever we tap our button okay now here we want some functions so I simply create the required functions we want another function void default camera position Now let's fill them out. When we click our button, we need to call this function. So uh, we are using Lean Twin. So here is our package. Uh, make sure to import this into your project. And uh, uh, after importing this package, we simply write Lean Twin dot move x. Uh, this lean twin move x function will takes a game object and uh, a float and a time uh, so first parameter is uh, game object uh, we need to put our camera game object to move our camera so simply camera trans dot game object uh, you will see here it will take game object and float uh, where we want to move and a time floating time so uh, we have created this vector to variable to um, to move our camera around x-axis and uh, we feed very uh, small uh, time so this will happen very fast here is the very cool functionality of this function uh, on complete huh. this onset complete function will provide us functionality to uh, whenever this uh, particular move x function is completed then uh, then a certain function is called it will take a callback so i simply feed this callback by this function so let's put here and after this we need to move our camera okay uh, we simply copy that and paste here 
and uh, we simply change this by default camera position uh, default camera position and uh, we don't need any parenthesis okay so here we want to move our camera on y direction so simply put y here and uh, also replace here y okay here i'm changing this uh, uh, time by 0 0.05 uh, because we need some randomized time if we uh, uh, if we are using the same time this uh, this will look like a glitch uh, not uh, looks like camera shade so uh, that's why I'm changing this time here and uh, we simply copy this and uh, paste here and change this move y to move only move because it will take a, a vector 3 so we simply replace our initial position by this camera shape y and uh, move our camera to its initial position and we simply replace this 0 0.05 by uh, 0 0.01 because we need smooth transition when camera will uh, move to its initial position so here we have our script and uh, let's jump into our unity editor and let's drag this script onto our canvas and uh, also uh add an event here we need canvas so drag simply drag it and uh, find our function here is there it is camera shape funk so here we need some values let's try minus uh minus 0 0.5 and uh, 0 0.3 maybe let's try this Mm, okay let's click the button okay uh, okay so here is our camera shake hope you like this video uh, if you like this video then smash the like button and make sure to subscribe this channel for more videos like this so thank you for watching.